So let's run through some things that can help you when you can't meditate. It happens to the best of us, you know. We work very, very hard. We've got a lot on our minds. We're getting bombarded with things online, on social media, on the TV, on the news. You know, I don't know. Does anyone read newspapers anymore? I don't, I'm sure there are probably people that do. Uh, let me know. But what I will say is there are some things you can do if you're struggling, you've never meditated before or you have been meditating and all of a sudden you can't, don't worry, there's things you can do. So the first thing is have a think about the type of meditation that you're working with. If you always do the same thing and it's now not working, it's time for a challenge. It's time to kind of level up a little bit. Your brain's kind of saying, yeah, I feel like I've done all I need to do in that area. I want a, a change. I want a challenge. So we want to change something up there. Now, I always find mindfulness meditation is one of the easiest things to do. One of the simplest things to do when you know, something like transcendental meditation isn't really getting to the transcendental space. So you want to kind of come out of that a little bit. You might be sort of pushing too hard or trying too hard. And as soon as you put that pressure on yourself, you can't relax, you can't switch off. So the mindfulness meditation can really help you to kind of de-stress a little bit and help you get back into the zone. One of the things I like to do on that front is to uh, focus on an object rather than focus on my breathing. So I like to stare at something. It could be anything. <laughs> um, it could be a flower in the garden. It could be a crystal. But you want to engage your brain to the point where you are absolutely fascinated and riveted with the thing that you're looking at. And that leads me on to this one here. Meditation is described in the dictionary as something, a single task that occupies your mind. So devoting yourself to a single task that occupies your mind. So it can be something physical. It doesn't have to be sitting under a tree with your legs crossed, getting into, into a space, a headspace. You can be doing something in the garden um, you can be going through a pile of ironing you know there's so many things that you could do that will help you switch off now if you find you're switching off like that and you're kind of reliving conversations and you've got all this sort of chatter going on in your head you obviously needed to get into that space because your brain's sort of trying to deal with something it's trying to make sense or process some piece of information and it needed some time to do that so doing something physical instead of sitting down and relaxing can sometimes be a really good way of helping yourself out being kind to yourself so another one and this, this can be quite a big one, is the, uh, the sort of physical side of it. How comfortable are you? Now, I appreciate someone who has great control over their mind can put themselves in a meditative state regardless of what's going on with their body. Now, that takes many, many years to, to kind of get to that point um, but it's it's important to try so I remember I'll give you an example last year I was very very sick and I was in a lot of pain <laughs> I was very uncomfortable and all I wanted to do was to obviously not be in pain and not be sick anymore so I was able to go into a sort of meditative state that was sort of half 
and it put me in the space of like being half asleep and half awake and it was kind of nice I was aware of my body but I wasn't feeling it I was kind of not accepting like that I would think oh yeah like ow that hurts but also um like I'm okay I'm safe right now um I don't have a problem right now so I'll just kind of let that pain like do its thing so you can you can do that but the comfort of your body is obviously primary if you're trying to relax so if you've just eaten a very big meal and your body's trying to digest it you know it's working very hard on that so you're now asking it to do something different so I think maybe be aware of um, your physical comfort when you're trying to switch your brain off because it could be it's letting you know there's a problem and it needs some help to take care of the problem. So you could be dehydrated um, and it's always recommended whenever you're meditating that you do have a glass of water there ready for when you come out of it. But I would say maybe have a little bit of water first. The brain needs a lot of water. Uh, it also needs some salt. So a pinch of salt as well is something that might help. Um, it kind of relieves the brain fog a little bit. If you have a, a sort of little crystal of um, Celtic sea salt or Himalayan salt, um, those are the best ones to use because they have lots of different minerals in them, not just the sodium. They have magnesium in them as well as many other. Um, there's like a whole list. I think the Celtic sea salt has 83 minerals in it. It's got three magnesiums in it. Um, it's obviously got sodium in it. But yeah, there's like a whole host of things that it has in it. So a, a little bit of salt there with the water before you settle down to meditate. It's going to help you out. Uh, wonders. Absolute wonderful. You don't necessarily need to be going for the crystals, going for a location or anything like that. Um, but also sometimes we do need a little bit of a physical movement before we go into the meditation. That, because if we move around like that, it's like our body is ready to wind down. So you don't have to go on like a five mile run or anything, but what you might want to do is do some star jumps, do some press ups, you know, do some sit ups, maybe just uh, do some jumping jacks or, you know, go up and down the stairs a few times. Um, but you want to have that physical movement before you settle down to meditate because you, you're physically your body's ready for a rest, you know. Um, I'm just thinking if I've missed anything else. Um, I did do another video like this uh, a few years ago, but this is sort of an updated version for anyone who hasn't seen that one. But, you know, it will be, it, it's available there if you want to check it out. So I will leave that with you. If you have any questions at all, um, because you might have something very specific there just let me know in the comments and I will try to answer them either in a video or in the comments um, if you're happy for me to look at that for you but it is uh, wonderful to have you come visit me thank you so much if you enjoyed the video please give me a thumbs up I do certainly appreciate it take care have a great uh, Great time trying to meditate or meditating. I I wish you well meditating. I feel like wow. You can do it. I'm gonna encourage you to do it. You know you can do it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I will see you next time.